Hi everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome to Vox Yoga. Thanks for joining me for this short practice where we're going to be doing a little bit of movement, quite organic movement, and we'll add some vocalising as well. Again, hopefully some organic vocalising, but I'll give you some ideas. We'll be seated and then we'll be kneeling on our hands and knees. So find somewhere comfortable on a mat if you've got it great or um, a blanket, a nice carpet where you feel strong and supported. So we'll start off just getting a little bit of movement into the spine, the upper body so that we feel a bit more free when we move. And then we'll add some vocalizing to a couple of um, movement, I suppose, not even sequences, postures um, and flows. So so I just want you to explore the voice when you do this. You can do some SOVT sounds, an ng, v, rrr, humming, and you can slide around freely exploring the voice. If that feels a bit scary to you, then think of a song you can use and you can um, use the sound on the song. For example, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. You could also use vowels. Or you can just sing as well. It's really open and do what feels good for your body. So we'll start sat down. Um, kneeling doesn't tend to work for this first one as we're going to be drawing circles with the upper body. So come to cross-legged or keeping one um, shin in front of the other as I'm doing. You can sit up on a blanket if that feels a bit more supportive for your pelvis, your body as well. Bring the hands onto the knees and we'll just start to draw circles with the upper body. So moving round to the left, coming forward, you'll have a bit of an arch in the back, round to the right, and then rocking onto the pelvis where you will round the back. So it's making this continuous flow and yeah, your pelvis will be moving with you. Spines really making space. Remember that your neck is an extension of your spine. You might even feel something in the glutes, the hip flexors, so although we're seated, it's quite a full body um, movement. Just start to focus on your breath already. Just breathing in and out through the nose. And we'll reverse our direction. and bring it back to center. Nice, interlace the hands behind the back, feeling an opening through the chest, pulling the shoulders back, just gently. Great, and then just look from side to side here to get a little bit of movement into the neck. If it feels good, you can press the palms into the floor for a bit more active posture. Great, moving the head up and down. And then just freely moving. So imagine you've got a pencil on the end of your nose and you're just drawing shapes. Great, bring it back to center and release the arms. Before you do any vocalizing whilst moving, it's just nice to free up the neck before you do so. So we're coming back to these circles and this is where we'll add our sound. So feel strong, grounded through your sit bones. Start the movement first, the movement of your circles. And when you feel good, you can start to freely slide through your range on these sounds, one of those sounds or you could do the melody of the song as suggested, whatever speaks to you. Let your voice respond to your body and vice versa.
and reverse the circle. Slow it down, start to finish the phrase, the exhale that you're on, and come back to center. When you get here, just let the breath settle, the energy settle as well. Feel free to shut the eyes or find a soft gaze. and then we'll slowly make our way to tabletop hands and knees. We'll explore some postures you can come through first of all, but ultimately we'll want to just be freely moving here. So drop the belly, arch the back, lift the chest. Now in this posture in yoga, we'll often look forward, but we want to just keep the neck long here as we'll be adding some vocalizing. Great, tuck the tailbone round the back, looking to the knees, feel your shoulder blades draw apart. Come back to center, look over your left shoulder. You can feel your hips moving over to the right. Come back to center, look over the right shoulder, hips move to the left. Come back to center, sit back on the heels. Your forehead might come down to the mat here. It might not, and again, you'll be moving, so you'll be kind of finding flow into this posture. Great, lift the torso, and then come forward down onto the belly. Lift the chest here. To our cobra. And then press back to tabletop. Awesome. So really you can flow between any of those postures or you can just start to feel like you're making waves with the spine, maybe drawing circles, feeling like you're making an S shape. Just explore the body, explore this movement. The postures might feel different to if you were going to hold them for a few breaths but it's making it feel good for your body. Breathe in and out through the nose, feel like you're working out any kinks. Pressing through the fingertips. and come back to tabletop your neutral spine. So we're now about to do exactly the same thing, but you can add some voice. So maybe doing sliding sounds again, maybe going through the melody of the song. You might open up to vowels now as well. Be mindful of your inhale, maybe choosing a specific posture to breathe in or just breathing as you move. And just notice what feels good. Be mindful of the neck and hopefully it will just feel as free and releasing as possible. Off you go, any pitch, any sound you like.
start to slow down your movement, finishing your next phrase, your next sound or exhale. Either come to child's pose or you can just come to kneeling. And again, just take a moment to resettle the breath, resettle the energy. And then take a moment to just reflect on how that felt for you. How the body felt, how the voice felt and how they both worked together. If you're in child's pose, lift the torso so you can come to kneeling to close your practice. And then we'll all take a full breath in through the nose and side out through the mouth. Thanks so much for joining me for this practice. I really hope you enjoyed it and it was a little bit of an intro into voicing, singing and moving. If you enjoyed this, I've got loads more practices of yoga for singers, singing and moving or just ones that you can do um, some flows before you start your singing practice. So if you did enjoy this, don't forget to hit subscribe and come back to some of this vocalising and just see how it feels for you. Thanks again and have a great day.